Welcome to Rotterdam for the ABN AMRO World Tennis Tournament, where nine of the world's top 20 players are competing. The Ahoy Arena is the venue for the first ATP World Tour 500 tournament of the year. First held in 1974, Rotterdam's tennis fans will attend the event in their thousands this week. First up on Thursday was last year's Wimbledon finalist Thomas Burdich and Russian Dmitry Tursunov. As expected, it was Burdich who seized the early initiative. Love to Burdich on this occasion. Took the full advantage on that shorter second serve. Burdich took the first set, but Tursunov, who was playing only his second tournament of the year, fought back in the second. Waiting for the right moment. Love fortune. Give us now the last few points as the first one's taken the ball a little bit earlier. Burdich too far back behind the baseline. Burdich, who was ranked 144 places above Tursunov, soon rediscovered his form and he gradually moved towards a place in Friday's quarter final. There it is. Fourth seed books his place in the quarterfinals. His first quarterfinal in Rotterdam for Thomas Burdick. Boy, was it a battle, though. An up and down performance from the big check. He made it a very tough and very hard match for me, but. Uh, you know, I'm very happy that I can, you know, like uh, go through this match. That uh, he was playing well, and I was just uh, in the position that, uh, you know, I should be the one who win the match. And uh, you know, so deal deal great with the situation and win it in a very tight third set. Ivan Lubacic also booked a place in the last eight after a convincing display against Frenchman Benoit Pair. Andy Murray may have lost in yesterday's singles, but he won today's double match with brother Jamie. They overcame Joe Wilfred Songer and Julian Beneteau in straight sets. Andy Murray's conqueror in the singles, Marcus Bagdatis, was up against Spaniard Feliciano Lopez. The Cypriot, who lost in the third round of last month's Australian Open, bossed the match from start to finish. little slice that Lopez played initially difficult to deal with moving away from Bagdatis with the side spin they are beautifully executed really good disguise and to the control with the racket head Able to back up his first round victory against Andy Murray. Looking good, looking sharp, looking extremely focused. 
good all-round performance. The crowd appreciate Baghdad. It's a good character on the tour. He's won a lot of fans over the years. I'm playing good tennis. I'm feeling good on court, moving re really well, uh, serving well. So you know, uh, there's some things I work. I had the chance to work with my coach in the off season, and you know, I'm feeling great. Thursday's night session saw the tournament's remaining second round matches. Mikhail Usli was up against the only Dutch player left, Timo De Backer. Despite vociferous home support for De Backer, it was Usli who played the better tennis throughout. Brilliant start to the game from the Russian. What a backhand. De Backer paying the price. Number 15. To the backhand, not wide enough. Two match points. It's all over. Usually sails into the quarterfinals. The last match of the night saw last year's Rotterdam champion Robin Soderling take on German number two, Philip Kohlschreiber. Soderling took the opening set in what was a closely fought contest. Cole Schreiber, who now has Andy Murray's former coach Miles McLagan on board, played some outstanding tennis in the second set. But it was a Swedish number one who took control in the third, and eventually he booked his place in the quarter final. He's done it. Soderling survives. And look what it means. Six, three, a marathon five, seven, victory seven, six. for the top seed and the defending champion. After well over two hours. He is through to the quarterfinals here in Rotterdam. By the skin of his teeth, comes back from match point down to win 6 3, 5 7, 7 6. You can watch all four of Friday's quarterfinals in Rotterdam live on tennistv.com. <laughs>